Hello and welcome back to Xenonauts, where we're about to attack two alien bases at the same time. But first, we need to look at our alpha team here. We need to decide who is coming with us. Obviously, Dark Old Cheese is definitely coming, his first mission. Um, and we have our, all our original team members. Yeah, they're all good to go. Martin and Matthew, though, both snipers. I don't know about that. I guess we'll see. How many do we need? We're going to assign the max amount of people, but we want to take the better rookies. This guy's a lot of health points and pretty damn good accuracy. Not very good to use, though. Hmm. I'm thinking this guy might make a good assault. He has an okay strength, but this guy is going to make a better assault, Andrew. So, do we need an assault, though? Yes, we do. We lost our assaults. Both of them, apparently. Isn't your crawl an assault? I could have... No, Shibi was the assault and we lost him. Right. Oh. Right. In that case, I think we're gonna make Max. Can you assault me? Or go down up the TUs a little bit. Actually, Valor Valerie? Yeah, Valerie is going to make the better one. A little bit higher accuracy, a little bit higher to use, just better, yeah, it's gonna go with you, Andrews, and from here I'm just gonna pick the better to use, so it's gonna be you, can you, no, oh, that's full, there we go, alright, now I'm gonna pause it while I outfit everyone, make sure everyone has the best equipment we can give them. Alright, and we're back. We've got everything, everyone outfitted. We are missing some plasma weapons because some of them did get blown up with people who got turned into a paddle on the last mission. But we do have Dark Old Cheese with a plasma rifle. We've got Artem with his plasma rifle. Sickness misses out. He has to stick with the conventional weapons. He can't hold much anyway, so there we go. We've also got Dracoral. He's got the uh, carbine, which is good. He can actually hold quite a lot. He's got, She's got strength. Valerie is stuck with a conventional gun, a pistol no less, so hopefully we don't run into androns, otherwise she's just going to be the tank or throw some grenades. Um, and actually I'm going to give her another grenade, just thinking of that. Matthew is slightly injured from the last one as well, I believe he took a hit and was massively wounded. But 10% uh, of his health is missing, that's not too bad, as long as we keep him out of the way. Pinja is the pack mule for this mission. She's going to be dropping most of that stuff at the start. Then we've got Carol. She is our heavy weapons person, but she cannot carry much whatsoever. Then we've got Martin and Andrew. So we do only have one plasma pistol, unfortunately, because that would make this assault so much better. So we're going to have to make some weapons after this. But if, on the plus side, if both of these missions are successful, whether or not we lose people is irrelevant. As long as we succeed in both of these missions, I think we can turn this around now that we're getting some uh, advanced aircraft into the fray. But with that said, let's hope... Uh, I actually need to rename Charlie here. I didn't realize that. Can you rename it when they're in flight? Yes, you can. This is Bravo team. Here we go. We got Alpha team and Bravo team. Come on. Hopefully we can do this. Oh, and we just got Predator Assault Armor done. Excellent. So we'll be able to actually have a really good unit uh, shortly as well. I forgot that was done. Let's go to the research screen and let's start our next thing. I think we'll do the Haradian analysis because that obviously leads to something. Because we're missing out. My alpha team actually almost got there first because they're in a faster dropship. But we are going to engage here. Let's hope it works out. Right, so we're ready then. Let's just end turn a few times, see if anything comes through the doors. 
like I always do. I will fast forward this if uh, there are no enemies incoming. Here we go. We should be able to take him out before he can turn one of us into zombies. Or perhaps not. Oh, thank god for that plasma. Otherwise that would have ended badly. There we go. Oh, look out. Eh, one of them zombified. Ah, that's no good. It's already going pretty bad. They, mu they must all have very terrible reflexes. Okay, so this thing is behind now. Ugh. So I believe if I kill this thing, it turns into another one. So it's dead. That's what matters. Yep, like I thought. Good. Hopefully we don't have any more incidents, but we already we've already lost someone there. They got turned into a zombie. Right. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Ooh, that could have been a lot worse though, I have to say. I'm actually gonna face you this way because See, I always wait the first few turns because there's always reapers that charge you. Like I was saying, we're gonna lose someone else here. No, it's spazzing out. Okay. Oh, but this guy has grenades, so this could be bad. Yep, it's bad. Not as bad as it could have been. We didn't take too much damage. Salt did. So we need to get this mission over and done with very quick. And our assault has panicked. So we need to fix up the assault because they're bleeding. We need to move everyone out of the way so the gu they aren't fucking tempted to throw grenades. I completely didn't. Think of that, like I said in the other episode, I'm not used to them coming through doors. Because they never did that when I was learning the game. Come on, you need to hit. In fact, I'm going to give you every chance possible to hit. Oh, good job. You aren't bleeding, so you're okay. You, on the other hand... Hmm. You'll survive a turn. Don't like doing that. Marco won't, though, so he needs to be healed. So we have no one guarding this right now. This is not good. This plasma guy needs to keep facing this way. I think. I don't think they carry more than one grenade. Let's hope they don't. Because Marco's dead. There's another grenade. Or that can happen. I 
I should have had him crouch. I forgot you can actually... Yeah, this is me being rusty. Yes, I know you're bleeding. Everyone's bleeding. We can still do this. I believe in them. We are actually going to hold on to this med pack. Bet any more hits, and these guys are screwed. You have a med pack yourself? You do. Well, you need to heal yourself then, and then heal your friend. Where am I going to put you? I can only really move you there, and that's not really going to help us. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Move you there so you can at least help over here if something happens. Looking very good right now. At least the assault has a shield. <laughs> That's all I can say. People are panicking right now. They're all rookies, so they're just panicking all over the place. As long as they're not charging into the enemy. You're panicking. God damn it. I don't like this. <sighs> I'm going to throw a grenade and hope that he is uh, on the other side. Except I'm not going to do that. That was almost terrible. See this? The block 100% on my friend? That is no good. You need to crouch. We might send everyone in to the same place at the moment, the way this is going. And I thought that would break open the door. Unfortunate. Okay, his shield is broken now. That's not what I wanted. You can drop this equipped with shotgun, but you're suppressed. such an awkward position. Hopefully there's no one else in this room or West Flop. Don't shoot. Good boy. I'm not gonna lie, I am holding my breath. <laughs> want everyone grouping up. This is the best we can do. We all have enough to snapshot. Oh, that was lucky. God, it really does catch you by surprise I'm coming through the doors. I am not used to that, but at least our heavy can fire. By that many bullets, you're practically guaranteed to hit. Need to reload though. Don't do that. You need to reload.
room is really awkward. We're going to be caught out in a really awkward position unless we have to. Fucking open. I didn't know there was a door there. <laughs> Excellent. Let's pop out through the door. Kill him. Oh, but that's good. Look what we just found. That is really, really good. That's just what we needed, in fact. Kill, kill, kill. Nah, no luck. Gonna take the risk. This isn't your friend. I don't think you're actually covered here, are you? No. Right, but that's good. Because that means we don't have to bother with this side. We can start moving everyone over. Two casualties so far. So far, let's leave it at that. So we're vir virtually guaranteed to succeed here now. It's good he's focusing the assault because that's what I wanted him to do. No more surprises out from doors, please. And then we should be alright. Bang. Can't shoot again. Look into his face. Bang. Alright. Now we just have to all fire away at this place. I don't care at this point. If someone has grenades, let them blow it, let them blow us up. Perhaps we can shoot them though. Who knows? Something's gonna come through that door, I bet. for everyone to fire away or throw grenades. Not going into that room though because that'll get dangerous. I think that should be enough. But let's do a bit of overkill though. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going to uh, start Heading back now. I'm gonna keep the assault behind though because he can take some shots for them. Alright, there we go. <coughs> what? Serious? I seriously thought that'd be out of exploding range. That's bullshit. <laughs> Apparently he was one tile too many. Oh well. At least he wasn't a part of our important team. Lesson learned. Alright. That's about it. Everyone drop your weapons. We're going straight back to the extraction point. Let's get out of here. Job's done.
Right, I think we're ready. So someone recovered. One of the guys we brought back did actually recover and didn't die. Daniel. Daniel managed to survive. Yeah, look, it actually tells you. Revived. Excellent. So it always pays to bring them back. And I, I did. we did actually get a tiny bit of money out of it because I recovered some weapons. I made them manually go and grab them. But it's still a successful mission. And that's all that counts there. We only lost two people. All in all, not very bad, considering they're all rookies. Right, well that's going to be the end of that episode. I wasn't quite as talkative as I should have been for that, but I'm going to blame that on the time of night it is right now, and how I'm kind of a bit tired. So we'll leave it at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. See you guys in the next one. Let him out.